is based on a character by Melanie Watt. I promised I wouldn't tell. No one can know, ever. So don't even ask. Okay. Ah, fine. I guess I can trust you. It turns out that... Dave, if it's a secret, you shouldn't be telling anyone. Not even me. Relax, I'll tell you. Mildred is a s Don't! I already know Mildred's secret, and we can't talk about it. It would put all of Balsa in danger. It's too late. I'm already saying it. Mildred is a spin class instructor. Dave! She teaches spin classes? Keep your butt in the saddle. Your legs are like pistons. So what secret do you know about Mildred? No, no, no. Oh, come on. I told you mine. But I told you not to tell me. If word got out that Mildred is a spy, then... <gasps> Mildred is a spy? You can't tell anyone. No prob. Spy's the word. Mom. I meant mom. Mom's a spy. It's not spy. Word. Word's a spy. What, what is wrong with spy? Stop saying spy! Okay, okay. Easy. It's not like I'm writing a musical about it. Mildred is a spy, Mildred is a spy. Scary told me I don't know why. I can't keep a secret, that's no lie. Mildred is a spy, Mildred is a spy. Dave. Mildred is a spy. Come Mildred. back here! Rock! Your shift started 45 seconds ago. Yeah, but I just need to tell Dave to get to work! <laughs> <laughs> Yep, totally true. Wow! Mildred is a... Uh... I knew it! I knew you'd tell people you can't keep a secret! But I... Okay, fine. Now we all know that Mildred is a spy. <gasps> the important thing is to... Mildred is a spy? Wicked cool! I put Mildred in danger! <laughs> Mildred... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I accidentally told Dave and, and Buck and Hatton ooh, and Gary. They all know that, that you're a spy, Mildred. Spy, Mildred. Spy, Mildred. Spy, Mildred. Spy, Mildred. Smooth. Worst secret keeper ever. Okay, we can fix this. Dave, you and I are on protection detail. We'll keep watch 24-7 and make sure nothing happens to Mildred until we can get this secret thing under control. Don't worry, Mildred. <gasps> Mildred would never leave a soda behind. Still called. <gasps> what have I done? Take that! And that! And that! Why won't you stay together? Oh! 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 Who knew building an evil lair would be so difficult? I gotta go contact the buyer. You want all of it? You'll have all of it. Well, well, well. Mildred. Balsa's best spy and worst cashier. Impressive, isn't it? Just wait till you see what it does. Yes, I know she's not here, Scaredy. I said, where did she go? Can we speed this up? Well, she... Should we tell him that someone took Mildred? Why would someone take Mildred? Right! No one would do that, so let's not talk about it so loudly. Moment of your time. I'm kind of busy and... Ow! Okay, okay! Mildred teaches spin classes. There, I said it. Happy now? <laughs> What's a spin class? I'm Mr. Mouse, Mildred's other boss. Look, Scary. It's my fault. I kept telling, and the pop can went glug, 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 and oh no, then ah, and she was gone. Because of you, she's been captured by evil otters. I think you owe it to Mildred to save her. Me? Ooh, 
I know. Okay. Yes, I'll do it. I will save Mildred. Dear evil otters, please release my friend or my next letter will be far less pleasant. Thanking you in advance. We're running out of time, Scaddy. Our sources say the evil otters have built a food magnet and plan to pull every last bite from Balsa. They're going to take our food? No one but Mildred can defeat these evil otters and save Balsa. But first, you need to rescue her. But I'm not a spy. I could be. With my detective awesome kit of super disguises, I'd be the best spy ever. No. Yeah, I would be good. Who's found sausage? The food! The food is dying! <laughs> I have a plan! Hold this! Here's some food evil won't be getting! Hey, why are my feet touching the floor? <laughs> Steve, no! This tracking device will allow us to find you. Be brave. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Dave will float right to their hideout. Use this to track him. Now, come with me. These spy gadgets might come in handy. This pen emits a sleeping gas. This tiny box contains a very big lion. No way. Don't open it. I just told you there's a very big lion in there. And finally, if you chew this gum, it turns into a rocket. But how do I... There's no time for instructions. Save the frog. Save the city. Uh... Who are you? Answer me. I am a spy. Then today, you die. Can I change my answer? Your chairs will now slowly rise up into the blue, blue sky. Oh, that sounds nice. But first, I'll have to push you through this! Ah! We're loading the food onto the boat. Do eggs go on top of the pineapples or the other way around? What? Let me make sure you're doing that right. I'm here! I'm here! Untie me first! I'm your best friend! Wait, stop. If the buyer gets that food, Balsa will starve. Jagged rocks, best friend, less talky, more untidy. Well, how am I supposed to rescue you and the food? He's not just gonna hand over everything to. Ow! Or maybe he will. How are you two? And here he is, contestant one, the evil otter. Are you ready to play Describe Someone Evil? I'm on a game show? Oh, oh wow, I'm so nervous. 30 seconds on the clock, which is invisible, and that's why you can't see it. Here we go. The Republic of Malta achieved their independence. Next question. Describe the buyer. Um, um, oh, uh, he's a sheep. A sheep with curly red hair. This better work. Oh, and yeah, wooden leg. Right or left? Legs. Wooden legs. Legs? Oh, come on. And, um, yeah, uh, he, um. And what? What? He has a thick Scottish accent. What are you doing? McShee, when did you get here? Not important. Who are they? They're spies and game show hosts. I actually collect spies who dabble in game show hosting. Bring them down, I'll take them with me. Sure, whatever you want. <laughs> Yay. And the food is in the boat like you asked. Hey, what part of Scotland are you from? The place with the rocks and the, 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 I guess. Wait, wait, you have to sign for delivery. You could have just escaped this whole time? Hey, stop right there. Very big lion, tiny box! Deep down, I knew that was impossible. Ah! <laughs> Scaredy, the food. Thanks for shopping with us. Don't come again. What now? This gum might be able to... Huh, 
on. What flavor is this? Rocket! Rocket? That's not a flavor. Oh! Mildred, get in the boat! Get in! Who are you and where are you going with my food? Sir Haggis! <laughs> Will someone please explain what just happened? Well, there was... Dave told me. You know, it's actually kind of... I'm a spy. Fine. Don't tell me. Just get back to work! <laughs> you two have done Balsa a great service. Unfortunately, I must erase today from your memories. Cheerio! Whoa! The day's almost over and I haven't done anything! Scatty, I know something about Mildred. I promised I wouldn't tell. No one can know, ever! Dave, if it's a secret, you shouldn't be telling anyone. Not even me! Relax, I'll tell you. Mildred is a... French Fry Tribute Tower will be complete after I add this one last... Squirrel! Ah! My office! No! Ah! Uh, um, is there a problem? Whoa! Let me tell him, Mama! Please, can I do it all? Please, can I, can I, please? Tell me what? Zip it, Squirrel! If that is your real species. <laughs> oh, this is too sweet! I'm so glad I brought my camera today. Is that my employee file? Is there something wrong? Yes! I noticed your school records from the Balsa Grocery Academy. Care to explain this? I don't get it. This says I didn't graduate. <laughs> you are so fired, right, Mama? Watch your beacon, Park! Squirrel! According to this, you're a single class short. <laughs> it must be a clerical error. I'm giving you one chance to go back and get your stacking diploma. What? No! I'm going back to school? I'm going back to school! Happy smiling face. No one wants a picture of that. Pencil disinfectant? Check. Desk polish? Check. Eraser? Don't need it. Won't make a mistake. So can I come with you? Um, I don't think you'd enjoy grocery school, Dave. Why not? Oh, <gasps> Scatty, do you think I'm disintelligent? No, of course not. I'm just saying that, that I don't know if you'd have much fun. I in agree. Food fights, pranking teachers, it's gonna be awesome. Now remember, no roughhousing and no trading lunch for firecrackers. I'm going to play with blocks and drink apple juice and make three new friends. Oh, David, your face is a mess. Uh, you're embarrassing me. Leave the boy alone. We should get going. Thanks for the ride. They grow up so fast. <laughs> Would you get back in the car? Okay, I think I'll take grocery cart sticky wheel maintenance. That class is fall. How about uh, missing vegetables? Fall. Infinite best before date theory? Fall. We only have one open class. What's the name of this course anyway? It's Introduction to Spontaneity. Here's your guide to enlightenment, Mr. Bobby Lopez. Spontaneity? Greetings! Call me Bobby. For no reason, I have pancakes in my pocket. <laughs> I like this guy already. You gonna eat that? Music! Come on, guys! Dance like no one's watching. Um, shouldn't we start the actual class? Ah, uh, yes. Good thinking, Squirrel. Please take out your textbooks and turn to page 15. Quick question. Which version of the text will we be using? According to my online research, it's a toss- As I was saying, turn to page 15 and throw those books out the window! <laughs> well done! Yeah, your turn, Squirrel. No. 
No. No! <laughs> <laughs> When your timeout is over, you should come and congo with us. Dave, doesn't it bother you that we aren't learning anything in this class? But I am learning. Did you know that conga line isn't a lineup for a movie called Conga? Yes. See? You're learning too. I already knew that. Ba -ba 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 okay, okay. You can stop now. Is our teacher cool or what? Oh, yeah. Totally cool. Hmm, not sure what to do for my spontaneity assignment yet. Maybe eat 40 pudding pails and fall asleep beside the fridge? It's a school assignment, Dave. It requires research and planning and double-spaced execution. I don't know, Scare. I think Bobby just wants us to do whatever pops into our head. Oh, Dave, you have a lot to learn about life, my friend. You have a lot to learn about life, my friend. What? As for the rest of you, Excellent work. Come up and get a happy face sticker. But I spent all night on this essay. Where's my happy face sticker? I need a happy face sticker! You obviously didn't understand the assignment, Scaredy. It was about being spontaneous. Look at Thomas. He cut and dyed his own hair while biking to school. Shelly woke up at 3 a.m. to pee, but instead joined the army. <laughs> You understand now, Scaredy? They're all living in the moment. Just look at Dave. What was Dave's project? Dave? Care to explain? No prob, Bob. The thesis of my project came to me when I stuck my finger in my ear and found some mysterious little eggs. I ate them. I have no idea what will happen next. Bravo, sir. Bravo. <laughs> I've never failed an assignment in my life. What should I do? I mean, I could... Is that the TV? Are you watching TV while I talk to you? Richard! This is very rude! Somehow I gotta turn this frown upside down. Scatty! Bobby made me the captain of the varsity spontaneity team! Wow. Come see my game tonight, okay? Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe I'll learn something? Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Then why are you cheering? I love spontaneity. You just do totally crazy weird stuff all the time. Woo! <laughs> this allows the dartboard to pick your omelet ingredients. Tomatoes, sunglasses, and uh-oh, poison. Ta-da! Now that's spontaneity. I'm sorry, Scaredy, but you're still not getting it. What? Sure I am. I'm on an ostrich. The guy who did this last night got huge spontaneity points. So you planned this? Yes! Scaredy, you can't plan to be spontaneous. That defeats the purpose. But I thought that you This is your last chance, Scaredy. If you can show me just one truly spontaneous act, I'll pass you. Go do something you'd never do. Like Dave does. You think the red truck would taste like cherry, but it doesn't. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm no good at being spontaneous. I can't do it. So what are you going to do? You, you can't just quit. Do I look like a walrus? A little. And of course I'm not going to quit. I would never do that. Do something you'd never do. Dave, I am going to pass this class. Scatty, there's an angry walrus in your fridge. I quit! Da -da -da, quit my job. Scatty, please, don't give up! Sorry, Bobby. I'm just not cut out for this spontaneity thing. Wait, 
quitting can be spontaneous. Really? I'd never considered that. Ha! Huh. You wish. He was practicing quitting all morning in the mirror. I quit! I quit. I can quit you. Je démission! Thank you, David. But, Scaredy, I've been told you'll lose your job if you don't pass this course. I've already called Nestor to let him know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go home and plan how I'm going to spend the rest of my life. This is Dan Duck live at the Stash and Horde with a special report. Hey, did he say Stash and Horde? The French Friars display is about to collapse. Sadly, the cutest bunny this reporter has ever seen is trapped at the top. Scatty, you have to do something! I could never get across town that fast, not without a wakeboard! Hey, man, did I hear you saying you need a wakeboard? Wow, he didn't even ask if it was hypoallergenic. What's happening? I can't see. I'll tell you what's happening. Scanty is spontaneously saving the day. And he's doing it spontaneously. He did it! I can't believe he really did it! And he's not finished. He's still spontaneously. Well, Scaredy, I guess I had the wrong idea about you all along. Here is your diploma. You passed. Really? Thanks, Bobby. Want a fake news story read on air by real anchor man? Call me, Dan Duck. Wakeboard for sale, brand new. Hypoallergenic. Need to be towed on a wakeboard? Be on the river's edge at 3 p.m. to get picked up. Need to sabotage your own grocery display? I'll teach you how. Want to rescue a super cute bunny and look like a hero? Add a little something special to your celebration. Let me teach you how to play yourself out with a spicy flamenco guitar strum. No, he couldn't have. And just like that, he was gone.